So you're looking for the best sports sunglasses for you, but now you're caught up on the lens selection. What lens color do you do? Well, I have some thoughts on that, so stick around. Hello and welcome, I'm Eyeglass Tyler. I wanna to talk to you about lens selections for your sports sunglasses. Well, there is a lot to break down here. Please stick around with me because I hope that I can help. I have a lot of information. Essentially, I'm thinking about this as somebody calling in and being like, what's the best for me? And I wanna go over with you everything that I would go over with them. First and foremost, contrast is key. You definitely want something that helps with contrast enhancement, so I'm definitely gonna cover that. I'm gonna talk about mirror coatings. I'll talk about some brands, sport-specific tints. Of course, then I'll also talk about Sporter X and our sport optimized lens options. I'll cover transitions, and then I'll get into some specific sports. Stick around. And by the way, if I've done my job well and you are all ready to buy at the end of this, don't forget about Sporter X. And definitely don't forget about our See Better guarantee because with that, you do not ever have to worry about getting something that isn't right for you or just something that doesn't work for you. Maybe I've given you all the information and it just still doesn't work. That's totally fine. You have as long as 45 days with them, even in prescription. You just call us. We take care of you no matter what that means on our end. And also, we have opticians just like myself who'd love to help you get it right the first time. And you can call us. You can talk to us. We'd love to help you. Okay, let's get into this. Let's start with contrast enhancement because that is where I always start. I think that across the board, I don't care what sport you're talking about, contrast enhancement is helpful. Why? Well, it helps to boost and separate colors. It's gonna make it easier to spot and track something like a ball or how about potholes in the ground? It helps you to better read the terrain because you can better navigate and understand the, the differentiation in the ground. Uh, it, there are just so many things that really are beneficial with contrast enhancement, including depth perception cues. Those are enhanced. Just helps things stand out because the differences between colors are heightened. It also can help to really just, in general, enhance an object that you wouldn't normally see with the naked eye. There are a ton of benefits that you can get out of that contrast enhancement. And I don't think there's ever been a time that I've been recommending a sport-specific lens color that didn't have some contrast enhancement in it because I think at very least it's gonna help you a little bit, but more likely than not, it's gonna be a performance enhancing tool. That might sound a little extreme, but honestly, I believe that to be true and that's the feedback that I've gotten. It makes that big of a difference. I will get into some specific recommendations as we get into the specific sport, so stick around. All right, now let's talk about mirror coatings. Well, what is mirror coating first? We've done lots of videos honestly on all of this so you can always check out if you feel like I missed anything all the other videos also if I miss anything you can leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you but uh, more than that mirror coating what is it it's a coating applied to the front side of the lens that actually creates reflections off the surface of the lens just like a, a normal mirror that you would use in a bathroom uh, the functionality of this is that it helps to reflect more light back and that means less light is making it through the lenses into your eyes so it gives you more protection against especially Especially excessive light. It also helps with what I call ambient glare. That's light coming in at harsh angles. If you've ever messed with a laser or a light on a mirror, you know that the harsher the angle, the more readily it reflects off. Well, the harsher the angle the light is coming in or would otherwise come in, tends to be less usable light anyway. And so it's nice to have that reflected back. So there is that benefit to it. Also, there's the cosmetic benefit to it. You have lots of different colors you can choose from, green, brown, gold, red. Anytime you've seen somebody with blue lenses, it was almost certainly a mirror coating that achieved that blue color. And so definitely keep an eye out on mirror color options. There are some other functionalities you can get on that, but we've done videos on it. I don't wanna get too deep in the weeds. Do consider a mirror coating. I think that for sport applications, it's almost always beneficial. First and foremost, my favorite lens color is gonna be rose copper. I really think that it's amazing the kind of contrast enhancement that you get with that, that color boost, that color perception enhancement is really amazing from rose copper uh, and actually is kind of similar to what you get with all of the Oakley Prism technology, which I'll get into just a moment. But anyway, I love rose copper. That's my favorite. Now let's talk about transitions. If you don't know what transitions means, that's just a name brand for photochromic. Photochromic means it's light reactive. It just, it changes based on the light conditions. It'll go from maybe a virtually clear or clear state to a dark state. Uh, you are almost certainly 
familiar with that. If not, we have videos on it. We have videos on all of this stuff. But anyway, uh, transitions is a good option if you want more versatility because it can go from a light state to a dark state. There are also some more uh, customized options and that is where we're getting into the Sporter Export optimized lenses. Uh, when we're talking about colors, before we get into the sport optimized lenses, I always recommend obviously contrast enhancement. So when it comes to transitions, brown. There's usually just a couple of color options available with transitions and brown is going to be the one that gives you the most contrast enhancement. And so definitely that is what you want to look into when you're looking at transitions. Let's talk about some customized options. So sport optimized, Sporter X lenses, day and night contrast. I love that one because that goes from a virtually clear state to a dark brown, has a really good anti-reflective coating. Also the field day, uh, that is one that gives you a little more uh, of a base tint on it, a contrast enhancing base tint. And that goes to a darker brown state in its darkest but you do at its lightest, it doesn't get to a completely clear state, but it gives you that contrast enhancement. So that's a really cool lens too. And also the start to finish lens, I really like. That's not a transitions option, that's actually a fixed tint and it's a rose copper and it's really good versatility also, even though it doesn't change, it's good for brighter conditions, also good for more overcast conditions. So check that one out. That's another one of my favorites. Now let's talk about that brand specific proprietary tint technology. My go-to is Oakley's Prism Road lens. That is their cycling road specific, really, really amazing lens, uh, which you can actually see right here, that is going to be great with contrast enhancement, great with color control, great with light control. And again, meant to be usable even in overcast conditions, even if you find yourself running into or riding into some tree cover, or maybe even through a tunnel for a short bit, you're gonna be able to still see really well. Uh, I do think you should avoid gray. So stay away from the grays, stay away from the neutral colors, get something contrast enhancing, uh, and ideally one from the list that I just mentioned. Now let's talk about baseball or softball. I think that the same lens colors applies for both of these sports. Uh, and I really like rose copper for these sports as well. I also really like brown. Again, contrast enhancement. It's gonna make it easier to spot and track the ball, make it easier to you know, read the, the spin on the ball. Everything about it I think is more ideal for the sport. If we're talking about polarized, I haven't really gotten into that, but I don't recommend polarized for any ball sport actually, because it can affect your depth perception. There's no benefit to the cutting of, of reflected light because there's not a lot of glare bouncing off of the grass or the dirt or the bases. And so uh, I don't think polarized has a place here. Stick to the tints, stick to non-polarized with transitions. I recommend brown. Again, this is a good option if you wanna wear them day and night. And so if we're talking about uh, sport optimized lenses from Sporter X, again, that day and night contrast is fantastic. We have some other good ones like the Field Day. That's another one of those transitions lenses that has a base tint that it builds off of. We have the Closer. That's another really good one to consider. Uh, I don't wanna get too deep in the weeds in these Sporter X sport optimized lenses. There is a really good reason to have a, a, a solid video review on all of these, but we haven't gotten there yet. So for right now, you just have to reach out to our opticians and they'll help you with guidance on that. Those are my recommendations there. When it comes to the sport specific, brand specific tint technologies, Prism Field. I really love Oakley's Prism Field. It's designed for the sport. It's designed for being on the field and it's amazing. So check that one out. Now let's talk mountain biking. With mountain biking, I think that most mountain bikers will agree that more light is better. There are some places like here in Southern California where honestly we're always pretty sunny, but even still I have found that the mountain bikers here when there's no tree cover still like to see more light making it through the lenses because darker lenses make it harder to read the trail. So the lens colors that are going to be ideal here, again, avoid polarized. I don't think it has a place here. Not a lot of dirt bouncing off of rocks and dirt and trees. Uh, so, and it can affect up perception. So I think avoid it, but amber, is a great option that's going to let a little more light through be nice and contrast enhancing vermilion is another really good one uh, or even a light rose copper so that is a little bit more kind of a secret menu item uh, if you were to order a rose copper lens from us you have to request it be a light rose copper so talk again to one of our opticians when we're talking transitions 
The brown, again, I recommend, but in here, I recommend the signature. So the signature goes from a clear to about a medium brown, as opposed to what I've been referring to uh, elsewhere. It's usually I've been talking about the extra active, which goes to a darker tint, but this transition signature goes from clear to a medium tint, and the brown is the ideal color. Now, sport optimized lenses from Sport RX, dirt bag, Day and night contrast, even though that does get to a darker tint, uh, I think that it still has a place here. And then and one more kind of last minute addition to this, we have some other secret menu items here, at least right now. We're trying to release them, uh, so keep an eye out for them. If you don't see it on the site, you can reach out to our Sporter X opticians and they can help you with it. Uh, there are two in particular I'm thinking about that we've been test driving and getting a lot of people wearing, and we've gotten a lot of great feedback. One we call Pedal Perfect, and the other one we call Hero Dirt. So keep an eye out for that. If you are ready to order it, call us, we'll take care of you. When it comes to sport specific, brand specific lenses, Prism Trail. That is Oakley's mountain biking specific lens and it's amazing. Now let's talk fishing. When we're talking fishing, we can't not talk polarized because now while you've been hearing me recommend do not get polarized, now I'm recommending actually almost saying it is an absolute necessity, polarized lenses. Now where lens color comes into play with fishing, it does depend on what kind of fishing you're doing that will determine what I recommend. Inshore fishing, flats fishing, river fishing, where it is uh, valuable to be able to spot and track the fish. Again, we're talking contrast enhancement. Uh, I think that that's very important. Uh, in this case, again, with a polarized, you're gonna be able to see through the, the water as opposed to all that glare bouncing off the water, making it so that you can't see through it. And then you pair that with a brown color or contrast enhancing color, and you have a fantastic inshore fishing lens. I have some other brands actually that I recommend here because polarized is a big deal uh, with Costa. I love their 580 technology. Their polarized quality is fantastic. And the lens colors from them I recommend would be copper, the green mirror or the silver mirror with the copper base, which is actually another one of my favorite lenses. Amazing lens, the copper with the silver mirror, really, really good looking lens. It actually lets a little bit more light through than the green mirror, a little bit less than the copper. I do recommend that, especially for fly fishing, uh, any fishing that you're covered a little bit. Uh, more with trees, it's not as bright, really, really good lens. When it comes to Oakley, I recommend the Prism Shallow Water Lens. That is their lens that they designed specifically for more inshore shallow water type fishing. Uh, unfortunately, that one's not available in prescription yet. Hopefully soon, it's been a long time. They should be doing that any moment now. I really hope that's true. It might not be, don't quote me on that. Uh, but that's a really good lens if you don't need prescription. Another fantastic option is Captivate. That is Wiley X's proprietary tint technology. And that is also very color enhancing, uh, an amazing lens tech with them. And you can go for the Captivate green or bronze mirror. Both of those would be amazing for inshore. Now, if we're talking offshore, here is where I do talk gray. I talk neutral because that is the most popular. You do get a slightly more dense tint. You get a, a little more light absorption in the lens tint with the gray polarized lens and so that is definitely the most popular for offshore fishing where really contrast enhancement doesn't benefit you a ton because you're not trying to track the fish anyway the fish are usually way down there and so the contrast enhancement isn't going to help gray is the most popular when we're talking costa that 580 blue mirror is the most popular there's also that silver mirror again but this time with the gray base those are both amazing lenses when it comes to oakley prism deep water it makes sense. They named that really well. Very clear, uh, made for deep water offshore fishing. And then when we talk Captivate lenses with Wiley X again, we are talking Blue Mirror and the Platinum Flash. Amazing lens options for you. Moving right along here, we're going to talk about golf. And this is another one where I think the more light, the better. I have found that a lot of people actually like no tint whatsoever, just a straight clear lens, which is fine. If that's all you're comfortable with, that's totally fine. But there are some really good options that I would like you to try out because again, with that contrast enhancement, it's going to make it easier to spot and track the ball. And there are options that'll get more light to your eyes. It's not going to cut light transmission as much as it will help with boosting color. So again, rose copper and here another one where you want to go with a light rose copper. When it comes to Oakley, Prism Golf, fantastic. When it comes to Maui Gym, they actually have a lens that's very popular and that's their HT lens. That stands for high transmission. I do want to mention the little caveat here. I usually across the board, again, don't recommend polarized lenses for ball sports. 
Maui Jim is an interesting exception to that rule, especially with that HT lens, just because of how much their color enhancement really benefits you, even in the polarized form factor. I think it's an amazing lens uh, and a lot of people love it and not many people complain about any issues with depth perception. And so I feel like I can recommend that with confidence. Definitely check that out, especially if you like Maui. They are an amazing brand and they make fantastic sunglasses. When it comes to SporterX Sport Optimized lenses, we have a lens called the Birdie. That makes sense. We also have a lens called All-in-One that's amazing. That's a transitions and that again has a base tint that gives you a, a contrast enhancing color that's built off of when it gets darker. And then we also have the ACE lens or the ACE. That's another great one for golf. Again, for information on this, reach out to opticians because they will help you. All right, so that covers what is the most important to know about these sport specific lens options that we recommend. I am very aware of the time. It got very long. I was trying to be exhaustive and that meant many minutes of your time. I thank you for sticking around. I really hope it was information that is valuable to you and that you have a much better idea as to what to shop for and what to look for for your sport. Do not forget if you are ready to buy about our See Better Guarantee because I really think it gives you a ton of peace of mind. You never have to worry about getting something that doesn't work for you. And also we have our opticians, like I keep mentioning over and over who would love to help you get it right the first time. Thank you again so much for joining me. I really hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like because it helps us. You can find relevant videos over here and also we have great content on our social media outlets. I think you should check us out there too because it's good stuff and I think you'll enjoy it. And you can find us at SportRx.